Hello there, welcome to this video. Today I'm reviewing the IC Station Pulse Heart Rate Sensor Module for Arduino. A fantastic little module for people who are into Arduino. Uh, it can be used with a couple of projects to do with like um, measuring stuff on the body, heart rate, this one is. Um, and it's at a hugely reduced price um, from compared to other websites. $4.79 you can get it for. Uh, within the next 24 hours and then it will go back up to its full price of $6 and it is at ICS station, oh no, sorry, icstation.com ok so this fantastic price, uh, for this fantastic price you'll get this uh, module it doesn't come pre-soldered so I've had to solder these pins on but it does come with the pins so you will have to solder it on but you know that's not the end of the world um, just, if you haven't got a soldering iron of course then you'll have to get one um, the great thing about buying it from IC Station, though, I am I've been given this for free to review it, but it is an honest review. I'm not just saying this um, because they've given it for me for free. Um, it is massively reduced compared to other websites. I've gone around and had a look at how much it costs at other sites, and I have to say, it is um, probably four or five times cheaper than most of the ones I've encountered. Uh, I looked on ones like Spark Fun. Um, I went on some official one, the people who came up with it. I went on to Amazon, it was quite cheap on Amazon as well, uh, and some other sites. And it's about four or five times more expensive than on icstation.com. So if you get it from here, you can get it at a much reduced price. And it also comes with um, some more tutorial underneath as well. Uh, a basic tutorial and demonstration. Okay, so I'll just talk a little bit about what it does. Um, all this is designed to view the heartbeat waveform and check your heart rate and it can be used by many different people um, for example students, artists, athletes, makers, game and mobile developers who want to incorporate live heart rate data into their projects um, this is pretty much plug and play, it hasn't got anything special that you need to do to it or you need to hack with it um, you just have to solder the pins on, plug it into an Arduino, upload the code and there you've got a basic um, heartbeat detection system. Um, now I've, I've seen a few projects online where people have used processing to display a graph. I'm not going to do that today but I am going to be using the serial monitor and code bender whilst it's still online. Okay so I normally, um, I said this in the last video as well, I normally go through all the uses of what you could do with it um, but I can't really go into much detail because there's not loads. Um, Obviously, it's just for uh, measuring the heart rate. So I've already mentioned what it who can be used with. It can be used with, you know, uh, students, artists, athletes, makers, game and mobile developers, uh, all sorts of things. So a few examples of what you could do with it is um, game and mobile um, development. So, for example, I don't know, a game which measures your heart rate and includes that in it. I mean, that would be a very weird game, but it would be interesting, so that could be a challenge. Um, making a game which incorporates this module. Um, a couple of other uses could include well, just making a heart rate um, monitoring system. Uh, for if, if someone's unwell or you need to monitor someone's heart rate, you know, you could do that. Um, other uses just could include, you know, um, that's pretty much it, isn't it? But it's, it's basically, it means you can incorporate live heart rate data into pretty much any Arduino project of your choosing. Um, it will work with, it will work alongside pretty much all of the modules, of course. Okay, so the dimensions, it is 0 0.625 inches um, diameter and 0 0.125 inches thick. It's very low power, it's an um, operating voltage, I believe, is between 3.3 .3 and 5 volts. So you can pretty much just use the standard Arduino power. Um, and you won't have to, you know, power it uh, more or less. You won't have to worry about uh, overheating it and melting any of the components. And um, so, yeah, very uh, plug and play. And it essentially combines a simple optical heart rate sensor with amplification and noise cancellation circuitry, making it fast and very easy to get reliable pulse readings. And it also sips power with just 4 milliamps current draw at 5 volts, so that's what makes it very good for mobile applications. Uh, you, you can just plug this um, or 
more like clip it to uh, an earlobe, a fingertip. You just put your thumb on it. To, I don't know how accurate it would be if you did that. Um, plug it into your Arduino and then you... I've had a look at the schematic for this and um, it has um, one um, op amp, um, one photo diode, an LED and that's that's pretty much it but for the price you know it's not bad so in conclusion um, it's compact so you know very small low power draw and um, easy to use and easy to assemble well solder essentially um, and it works very well if you use the latest code for it and overall you know it's just a very cool little device and it's very durable okay and very cheap as well extremely cheap for what it is i think so let's get straight into having a look at how this thing um how to use this thing with arduino i'm just going to do a quick demonstration this isn't a um, tutorial video and um, i just want to quickly show you how it works and um, so wire this end to positive this end to negative in the middle to analog zero um upload it to um the arduino board using and well, the Arduino IDE, this is going down soon, code bender. Uh, upload it, select the right things here, and then when I put my um when I put this to my ear, it, it starts saying, hold on, wait a sec. Heartbeat happened. I haven't got it in the right position yet. It is important to get it into an area of your body where it does actually have a heartbeat. There we go. That gives you a rough estimation of how fast your heartbeat is. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.